everybody. It's Sophia Marco, Dish Out on the Movies. Uh, we have another... Uh, full Moon Movie. Yeah. This and, is our second to last one. It is called Unlucky Charms. It's from 2013. and You can tell. <laughs> I, I, mean, you, I you, didn't think it was too bad. Oh, Sophie. I give it a C minus. Oh shit! I think it was better than that that other thing that we saw. That I I was generous. It's better. This time I'm not being generous. I think it's you know it's average. It's better than Shadow Zone. It's better than Corona Zombies. But oh god! Yes, it's tons better than Corona Zombies. That thing was really a piece of trash. The problem is, is that you can tell this is a full moon movie. From 2013. Like, a lot of people have talked about the decline in quality in full moon films. And how in the 80s and 70s, you know, you have really great films. And then it got to the 90s, the films got less good. And then the 2000s, the films got less good. And then the 2010s, they got even less good. And of course now, in the 2020s, they did something where they... They didn't even make a movie. They just fucking dubbed over old footage from other movies. So, well, the Doll Man. What year was that? <laughs> that was like eighties, nineties. Oh. So you can tell like the difference. This is a modern full moon film. Those are older full moon films. And I just the thing that I didn't like about it. Out of, there were a lot of things, but the main thing was that I wanted a horror movie. And, you know, it's it's October. We're trying to have fun watching horror movies. Yeah, since we have to move, and that's a pain, and so this is all we have. And, <laughs> uh, you don't have to talk about that every video, Sophie. I can't help it, but uh, it's first and foremost in my mind. Well, do you know what's first and foremost in my mind? I'm scared to find out. Uh, uh, the Blair Witch. <laughs> Oh, actually, that's for the next movie. I'll just, uh, that's a little teaser, because <laughs> I, I already watched that one, too. Ew, really? The last one. Well, it kind of... Is that what we're watching next? Just no. the first one? No, Safi, you know what we're watching. Oh, you that, fucking, okay. You fucking sellout. <laughs> oh, cut it out. He's being, he's teasing. Don't corporate... Get, nobody have a fit about it, okay? I'm not. Corporate shill. <laughs> yeah, right. You're a, you're a full moon shill. Saying that this movie is a masterpiece. I never what said it was thinking? a masterpiece. I just said I gave it an average. But I don't. I'm not going to disparage it like that. Corona. Well, Corona. What virus movie? I I wanted a horror movie, and it was not really a horror no, movie at all. Not really. It was it like was a. More... It was a satire mixed with a thriller type thing. It yeah. was like a thriller. It reminded me a lot of The Craft. You know that shitty ass movie we watched, Sophie. It was better than that. It was better than that, but uh, I liked some stuff in it. I liked, uh, I liked the idea. I liked a lot of the ideas in the film. I liked how, you know, you have like a group of people, and you don't really know which one has the charms, and you don't know what which one is really uh, using the evil magic to summon these creatures because that's what it's all about it's all about you have like a leprechaun and his his demon friends and they're all summoned to help someone do bad things steal souls and you don't know which one it is because it's like a group of terrible people but therein comes the first plot hole because they are able to see everything with these girls they can see everything that goes on it's like this mansion where it's like a modeling competition, a reality show, and they can see every vantage point, every perspective possible, but somehow they don't even see uh, the person who's using the bad magic. You know, I thought that was like a, well, you know, that was just like, come on, there should have been some explanation. Well, at first I thought that everybody that who was involved with the show were these creatures 
I thought that they changed themselves into pretty people, uh, you know. So when the girl, these girls, it was a little set, it was five, five girls, uh, when they were doing their little activities or whatever, they would see pretty people. They wouldn't see these, whatever you want to call them, creatures. And um, so, but then I found out they're separate. So there's like five pretty girls who are vying for this uh, spokesperson and, competition. And you're calling them pretty. So, Sophie, well, what I'd would you? That. how would you rank them? Oh, no. I'm not going to do that. How would you rank them? No. Anyway. Come on. Okay. Why? 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 I don't want to rank them. Because that's what you do. It isn't what I do. It's a competition. You can rank them. Even in the movie, it's a competition. I just... Uh, Even in the movie, they're like... This so a, what? It's, I'm it's not a, in the movie. Uh, you're in the movie now. Oh, you're in a please. video. So how would you rank them, Sophie? Let's be honest. I, if you are just for uh, the probably the girl who the main girl who, well, she didn't know she was the main girl, but well, yeah, but, they had this very cliche final girl where she's she's the nice girl and well, she's, she's the not, girl she's the girl clean of heart and she's also she looks like a fucking. Stay Puft Marshmallow Girl. Well, she uh, was in business, <laughs> and she wanted to get money for winning this competition. You would get money, of course, and uh, to pay her off her student loan. She wanted to hijack this modeling competition for her own agendas. Well, the she's, agendas weren't a bad agenda. To pay off her student loans, I wouldn't call that a bad agenda. She's like the Margot Robbie of this movie. Okay. No, I don't know about or, that. Or, or the Gina Davis. You know, those I don't are two people. Not that either. No, those are both people who use their fame to hijack things and to, with their own agenda. Well, she didn't care about. She didn't. And all the other was, girls were like slutty. Acting. Yeah, but, but they were they were models. They were like you have one, and she's paying for her sick brother, and like she's the supposed bitchy person, and and then you had another one. And the leprechaun himself even said that she wasn't a bad girl at all. He's one but of, he he's had a, to kill her. He's one of the creatures. Yeah, the leprechaun, I would say, before we get back to the ranking, uh, the very important part of the video. Not really. The leprechaun, to me, is the worst part of the film. because Why? I like the leprechaun. Only it was red. Because he had a good voice, and I like the idea of him having a red outfit instead of a green outfit, but... He called himself Red Man or something. No, he did No, he I didn't. Thought he, I thought he said something about red in his title. He called himself Far Darig. Yeah, that was his name. You don't, you don't lie to Far Darig. It's like, I, I don't know what the fuck a Far Darig is. It sounds like a... An obscure baseball player. But didn't the other <laughs> creatures, didn't they have Irish accents too? I can't remember. I don't I know. I think they did. I, so back to the leprechaun. Okay. This leprechaun, I like his suit. I like his voice a lot. He has a good leprechaun voice. Although I don't know why they didn't just get the guy who played Dracula in The Creeps. Because he he's good in everything. So, you know, why not just get him again? Uh, this he he had this beard and the beard was terribly ter like terribly put on it looked i mean you could see the spirit gum like the shine of the spirit gum oh. where they, where they glued it across his chin and then you could his face i don't know what like they could have made like a cool mask they could have made prosthetic something but instead he's got fucking uh, herpes all over his face and it's just like this is really weird and it, it just it doesn't look good well I think they were and, trying to make him not look so nice but in he, other words he looked the, the, uh, the other ones were weird and creaturey like I mean they looked like they were came out of the bottom of a dumpster so what and smashed to the floor but they were cooler but they still, looked better the leprechaun looked more Leprechaun. No, he wise, looked but like he still had like his face was red. He looked like a guy with herpes all over his face. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. And, and anyway, he looked the, out of the, out and of all of them, he looked the most his, quote, normal. His character is like, hey, I'm the nice leprechaun. But then he'll kill you. And it, it, I don't know. It's very strange. 
He was almost like I. I uh, and the kills in this movie were terrible. I mean, I don't know what they were supposed to be. You have one where they like copy Willy Wonka with the blowing up Violet. You're turning Violet, Violet. You know they have they had that one where he made her blow up like a balloon and die and. And I can't even remember the other kills because I just watched that other movie and it's like I can't even remember because that's how bad these kills were. They were terrible, trash. They burned up, right? Is that one, the one you're talking about? One of them. I don't. I guess the, the person uh, in the kitchen. The creature, maybe, but there was also the very first one in the hallway. No, that was the girl who turned into Violet from Willy Wonka. Oh, I thought somebody got burned up. Maybe she, that was in the kitchen. She blew up like a balloon. See, that's how bad the kills were. We can't even remember. And there's only like two or three kills, too. So, you know, it's really not a good horror movie. And there's just too much stuff of, like, most of the movie is just satire. Like, just watching these girls in this modeling show. And all the things they say are so, and, like, cliche. And they're so, like, ugh. They're so, ugh. Safi, like, so ugh. so bad by and, uh, bitches. And some, not all of them, but most, you know, some of them worse than others. And they would call them that, you know. why? The nice girl said, well, why are you being such a jerk? Why are you being so... Because she had covered the camera. They had hidden cameras, or they were in view, all over the house. And Stay and so Puffed she, Marshmallow Girl, she covered a camera. Yeah, with something, I don't know. But anyway, that doesn't matter. But anyway, she said, no, camera's not on you, and you don't have to pretend. And why do you, why are you being such a bitch? That's what she, in, in certain terms. So, anyway. So, uh, let's get back to ranking. Okay, so oh you have, God. let's see, you have... We have a girl uh, that looks like uh, the girl from uh, who passed away. She drowned. God, Safi. Got that what girl. What the and fuck? She's, she's wearing these really cool underwear and top. Oh, God, It was Sophie. like plastic or something, but oh. she was weird, kind of weird looking. She looked like a weird... <laughs> oh. Oh, what's her name? Oh, no. From Glee. Lamb Michelle? Away. No, she Lea passed Michelle? away. I don't know. Lamb Michelle didn't pass uh, away. Gabby, Gabby. No, her name isn't Gabby. You cut it out. Uh, Brianna. Cut it out. <laughs> Tessa. But anyway, this girl. <laughs> anyway, she. Uh, she was kind of weird is that, looking. Is that so the Asian I'll put one? Her at the bottom. Is I don't that know. the Asian one? I don't know. There was because there was one Asian one, and she and they they made sure they found like someone with the biggest boobs, because they had two topless scenes and. And so I guess I will say I was surprised about that because, you know, nowadays with all these horror movies, it's weird because it's like they're so obsessed with the past and with the 80s and then they they never have any nudity in their films like they're like made for children or something. And so I thought that was funny that this had that. It was almost like they were compensating for the, for the bad kills. Like they were trying to be like, oh... It doesn't have great kills, but it has other things. Right, Safi? Whatever. Like, that's what, that, that's what it probably... He didn't mention it in his memoir, you know, Charlie Band. You know, he should have had a whole chapter saying, How I made unlucky charms. Well, number one, I found this woman, and... uh. She was weird looking, but I I accepted her anyways. And I put her in the film and and she's in last place, right, Safi? Uh no. You just I said told so. You the girl, the girl and that so, which her. one's the weird one? The 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 leader? The leader of the competition? Yeah. Well, she she was like evil and so she you know, there was the I leader of the comp. The I didn't think she was that good. Yeah, well, she she was very cringy at some points the with the effects. You know, they had these computer generated like ripples on her face, and it looked really like yeah. it looked like a computer game. And the you know the the way that they made her look, they didn't make her look very good in the movie. Uh, and her, She's supposed to be the leader. Yeah, and her character, she didn't look 
uh, as good as any of them. Well, when she talked, too, and she was a jerk, it made her face look ugly. Yeah. She made her face, she would screw up her face or something, you know. When somebody's in a bad mood and they talk mean, they look. They have a mean look on their face. Well, it's kind of like... a mean look on her face. It's kind of like whenever Lon Chaney, whenever, you know, he he can look like a monster, he can look like a, a normal guy. And, like, the whole movie, she's, like, constrict, can, you know... Yeah, she's this pinched, they call it a pinched face. That's what she looks like in the yeah. film. And she's supposed to be the best, but I put her last. So who's the second worst? Well, I I guess... Stay Puffed Marshmallow Girl? No, I put her as number one. Uh-oh. Uh. You're just talking about people's looks. <laughs> I just said to rank them, Safi. In terms of just looks? Yeah, go well, ahead. Okay, there was another blonde girl. <laughs> She's number one. Oh. Stay Puff Marshmallow Girl, which is shitty, <laughs> I think. Why? Is, uh... But it was so she, cliche. She's three. It was so cliche how, like, oh, they have this one contestant, and she's not as skinny as the rest, and she's the nice girl. She's, and it's well, like, come a four, on. There's a four and a two. And, let's see, the four would what, be... Well, what, what, okay, you have the, the Asian... The girl. What, oh, the bitchy girl. Which what, The bitch bitch? Yeah. The main bitch? Which is... What's she... She's four? Yeah, she's four. And then you have oh the, my uh, God. Uh, the, girl, the, the other girl, the last one is two. But where's the Asian girl? I guess that's the Asian girl. She's two. She's two? Who's one? Uh, the other blonde girl. <laughs> Which one? Who wasn't one? very significant at all. The one who gets killed in the kitchen? No, I don't... I'm not <laughs> sure. Somebody... <laughs> see, the thing is, the person in the kitchen... Uh, was getting something to eat, which if you're a model <laughs> and you're getting something to eat, that's really odd <coughs> because they don't eat and they admit it. And but she was getting a snack, and so I'm trying to think that you know. I think that was her the one. Who, so you put her as number one. No, I put her as number two, and, and then the blonde. And you who said was skinny. She's what? A, an a, a, what was she, she was sk- nice. She talked to the the. Uh, you call her Stay Puff Marshmallow Girl. Yeah. Wasn't she talking to her? And they I were don't, kind of like. Everyone talked to everyone the friends. whole movie, Safi. I they mean, that's the like movie. They were kind of like friends, though. She was nice. Oh, her. They were nice. So you put her as number one. Yeah, I thought she was. She was very pretty. Oh. But she, uh. Oh, what about. Uh, how would you rate laugh, her? She got killed. How would you rate her on a scale of one to ten? I don't know. I don't do that. And I'm not going to do any more. Okay, that's it. I ranked, I gave them the rankings an asinine. You're just ranking on looks. It's so stupid. Okay, you do it yourself. I'm not going to do this anymore. You're going to just continue to be a jerk. What are you talking about? What does it have to do with their performance? Not a That's what the deal is. That's what we're talking about. Well, so I'm not going to talk about people's looks. It's just stupid. But that's the whole point of the movie. Well, it's a, it's not it's a it's modeling a, competition. No, it isn't just how you look, too. There's one, it wasn't just... But, that's what the girl who was yeah. a, quote, stay puff marshmallow. <laughs> that's what she said. It's also a spokesperson. Uh, but what are they so, speaking for? Like, they literally... Them, they they might, never speak. They never do spokesperson scene. You never see one of them go up there and say... You never do see them do a... uh, They had, like, tasks they had to do, just like in any reality competition, like Survivor, for example, or Big Brother. (laughs) They have tasks, you know, that they have to do, and whoever gets... In fact, they had one. (laughs) At least one, and the... The number one person, I'm not sure what they got. And then the the last place one, which was the Stay Puff Marshmallow Girl, <laughs> she had to clean the bathrooms. Yeah, she had to clean the toilets. Yeah. <laughs> but Safi, Safi, we never even see a scene where, like, Stay Puffed Marshmallow Girl comes up to the camera and says, I care a lot about zebras in Thailand. Zebras in Thailand are endangered, and they need our help. 
you know, we never even see like a spokesperson well, scene. I, you know, I'm so, trying to think way back there was some kind of uh, competition that I watched where they did have uh, it was for a spokesperson. Well, so all you they can do to, they had to do that. They did have to do like they were doing a commercial. And they had to do it a few times. Does, does anybody remember what I'm talking about? I have. Yeah. I don't remember. So, so all you can do is judge them based on their looks, because you didn't get to see any of the spokesperson crap. No, we didn't. I mean, you didn't even get to see the bitch. I, I mean, forgot what, that they do that. What was up with the bitch? I mean, she was just like. You mean the one that had a screwed up face, and she was supposed to be oh, the best one? Oh my God, Sophie. Well, she had a. Oh. She had a look to her face. Oh, no. No, that was the leader. I'm talking about oh. the contestants. Oh, her. Yeah, the bitch. I don't know what was what going on. What was going on? Like, she always looked like she was, like, mad that, like, a black person shook her hand or something. Like, she <laughs> she looked like a Karen. <laughs> she would have been the perfect person for Amityville Karen. Don't you, you agree? About the the bitch no oh. the the bitch not the leader i said okay, on, the contestant go. the bitch oh what was up with her uh, what was up with I don't her no she said i'm going to win and you all are losers she acted like she had like a <laughs> she she acted like she was like impaled on a skewer or something like she acted like such a like she was a pain in the ass and uh, but she was actually the best character probably because she was the only one who really had any depth a little bit, and all the other ones were really just caricatures. They were very weak. And then the judges were even worse. Like there were there were two male judges, and there was one uh, African American woman. In fact, yeah, we already talked. Her. She's the leader. Yeah, she's... Oh, I see you're calling her the leader. Yes, well, she, Sophie. She was uh, skinny, and she had on real nice clothes, and it was her thing. Yeah, she was this doing... This was for her line, her clothing. She was doing voodoo juju. And then you had you had uh, this guy who looks like John Cena, and he, <laughs> he was like the... I don't... The producer, and so... It, they kind of made it... I thought they, they had a couple of good ideas. They had a couple of good twists in this movie. Like, one of them was that they kind of made it seem like he was, like, a, a perv and that he was, like, trying to sleep with the contestants uh, in order for them to win. And so they had this scene where uh, one, the, the blonde one that Safi thinks is number one... Uh, hasn't given her a rating yet though uh <laughs> she's having sex with them and then it's revealed she's actually having sex with a demon and she's not having sex with him at all and he comes down and he's like what the f and he comes down and i thought that that was great because it was like oh wow you know everyone would have expected for that guy to actually be doing that and so i thought that that was cool and then uh but the worst one Safi, the worst person in the whole movie was the gay judge. And I say that because he was like, he was straight out of American Horror Story, New York City, season 11. Like, he was that bad. Uh, he, he was so, oh, he was so annoying. He was, so, I don't know if that's an act or not. I hope it is. Because he was like Jim Carrey, like, if Jim Carrey never made it famous and instead he became charlie band's actor like that's how bad he was he was terrible he was he was so annoying and girly and and he just every scene he was in it was like wow they were really proud of this like humor of like this this satire that they're doing and i was just like annoyed well uh <laughs> I was just trying to think who was left in the end, who didn't get killed. The bitch, the 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 Stay Puff girl, the um, the gay guy, and the the uh, pinched up face girl, and the Asian girl. She was uh, Mika. She the one who was going to win. She was a, she was alive, right? Safi, she was the leader. Or wait, which I don't understand. The girl is wearing that plastic underwear and plastic. 
I wasn't. I wasn't looking at their underwear, it, it, Safi. It had, it had black and white decorations. I mean, it was very unique. It, I guess. Well, I was maybe, paying. Maybe it was a bikini. I was paying attention to the story and the characters. It's obvious that, you know. Well, I uh, look at clothing. I'm sorry. That's just what I do now. I Ooh. judge clothing. Okay. I never. I don't. I never get underwear stuff for anybody except I did get one bra to sell. It was Victoria's Secret, and it was Ooh. silver, shiny, and those sell. Was it back before Victoria's Secret got woke? Probably. It was in the bins. Good. But I haven't, I haven't put it up yet because I'm not, I don't, I'm not used to doing that. But a lot of people sell bras. So this movie, it was really trashy. It, it just too much of the movie was just satire. Like I was expecting a horror movie like Leprechaun, you know, because I have seen one of the Leprechaun movies. Yeah. And that, I actually like that movie a lot. And, in fact, I would watch the other ones, too, over this. This was just satire. It was straight-up satire. Ha, 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 isn't this funny? Isn't this clever? Uh, ha, 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 ha. And then a little bit of, like, thrilling and stuff and supernatural it, it crap. It was okay. It was very, uh... Mild. Mild, but it was also short. It, because the story was lacking a little bit, I, I think. There were some missing pieces to it. And you could get enough of it to watch the show. But I didn't understand. They had this beginning, this intro thing where they're in this world that's really off-colored. Yeah, they're in the leprechaun world, and the leprechaun is sitting on a bench with a little girl and he's watching children play and and this is what I mean about they made him like the nice leprechaun because he's like why are all those children so happy when it's when it's a joyless terrible world why are they having fun and the little girl smile it's just a very it's like a well, I thought the little girl was that older stay puff marshmallow <laughs> I thought that was her as a little girl that would have been cool if that would have been like a flashback or something. But well, that's what I was wondering. It was like a Neil Breen scene. I, I don't know. Well, they're just sitting on the bench. And in fact, the little girl didn't... I didn't even know she knew he was there. And then they had this stupid part at the end where he, the leprechaun is fighting the leader. And then the leprechaun gets killed. Yeah. And I thought that was stupid. Because like it, it's like, how do you kill an ancient... like a you know, he's he's summoned. You know, you can't kill something that's summoned. And plus the fact she had... She had... The bad woman uh, had a charm bracelet, and it had powers. And one of the charms had come off. And Well, the power was mainly that it kept her young and alive. She yeah, because should have been old she took like, other souls to stay yeah. young. But she also used this bracelet in some way to help the process of staying in. Anyway, one of the charms came off, and it was the head of a woman. I'm talking about like a charm bracelet, so it was that size. It was, you know, maybe an inch, a little over an inch. And the blonde girl, uh, the Stay Puff Marshmallow girl, she found the charm. She just found, I don't know what she did, find it on the floor or something. And she didn't know what it was, and she kept it. In fact, I don't think she told anybody. Sophie. And anyway, I thought, uh, what was I thinking? That that somebody that she would get that charm and put it up to the the leprechaun, and he would. And they had the bracelet. They took the bracelet away from the woman. She been she didn't know it was missing. I guess. But the real question, Safi, is where in the hell did you did she get that bracelet? I don't know. Did she get that yeah, from? That's another missing piece. Did she get that from Wish dot com? I don't know, but she, I thought that it was keeping her young, because they showed the process one time. She held it up to her face or something, and it made her get, her face was turning wrinkly, like she's Dracula or something, and it, she put it up to her face, and it kept, it made her turn back to being, looking nice looking. It reminded me a bit of Wicked Stepmother with that aspect of, like, She's she's like transforming and, and changing her appearance and so I thought it was a healing thing. So I yeah. thought that the Stay Puft Marshmallow Girl 
would get the charm and then with that bracelet they had pulled off of that bad woman they would put up to the uh, leprechaun and he would be healed but it didn't happen so I don't yeah. she, they, no, she never told anybody she found that thing as far as I know that, that little charm and like why didn't they do something with that that should have really they could have done a lot more with that instead of her just finding it and not seeing it. They could have done a lot more with the whole movie. I yeah. thought that it, it was a big waste potential, just like with, like, Shadow Zone. I would rate this movie, you know, just like the title, which I thought is a great title, Unlucky Charms. That's a fun title. I would rate this movie. Remember, Safi... Remember what it's like when you have a bowl of Lucky Charms and you and you have milk in it, mm -hmm. and then it's like just completely soggy Ugh. to where it's almost like dissolved. That's yeah. this movie. It's mm -hmm. like ah, I'm having fun eating Lucky Charms, but ew, gross. That was this movie. Like it could have been just a a bowl of Lucky Charms, or maybe a bowl of all the marshmallows, which you can oh. get. You can get that. If you're a weirdo. Safi, what would you rate this movie? Oh, God. I just say it's pizza without uh, any sauce. Really? Well, it's just, you've got, when you have a story like that, you had pretty much a lot of the ingredients, but it had holes in it. It was like Swiss cheese. And you have to have, you have to fill in the gaps. And like we said, this if this was a spokes bottle pers person position, which I don't know why the one girl would say that. Yeah, they kept it, on it emphasizing it. Yeah, and so why didn't they have, because they showed a couple of competitions they had to do. They could have done that, and and uh, and so you don't, all they did basically was strut around underwear. Yeah. Which the person was, her. she was selling underwear. She said, because she talked about Victoria's Secret, and she said she would blow them out of the water. So, Safi, do you think any of these girls could blow them out of the water? Oh, I don't know. Probably nowadays after it's they the went woke. It's the underwear. After Victoria's Secret went, went woke and went broke, uh, they would probably beat them now. But, but in 2013, yeah, that's because they went woke. I don't know. But, but I don't in, know what that means. Well, they had it to where, like, they advertised to where, like, now women of all sizes can go to Victoria's Secret, and they had all these... What's wrong with that? They had all these ugly fat women do like a, a line and well, it's like, ugh, gross. See, that's wrong. And then they oh. and then they like replaced management with all these ugly people who don't know what they're doing. Well, I don't know anything about that. That it's would like, put some somebody to sleep in two seconds. But well, you have what, to have underwear for all models. You know, they buy things. They're human beings. Yeah, but Safi, sometimes... No, don't do it. Sometimes. Don't do it. Like, don't you know, that's it. why people like Victoria's Secret was because it was made for attractive women. Well, that's was, your... You are so full... You're, you're full of it. No, I'm because not. Because there's women out in this world who like to buy things to make themselves feel good and look good. Safi. And they may not be the most... The, the, Victoria's Secret... Person, Victoria's okay? Secret isn't the brand for them. Oh, please. They can that, start. They can start their own brand there called. Is, there are other people they that can, do brands. They can start their own their own brand called okay, I, called. Okay, you women out there, <laughs> let's chastise him, okay? Because uh, not everybody can be a pretty person. They can call it the Stay Puffed. Uh, oh, that's really crappy. Why? Okay? It's true. Anyway, it's um. Safi. Whatever. I'm Victoria's not gonna, we're Secret not argue is trash. This stuff. Okay, uh, well, I don't, I don't know. I've, I, there's been a lot of stuff about them lately, and they said they were having financial problems, but I don't know. I didn't read about <laughs> any further than the headline because we have so much to do. And I well, anyways, care. I would recommend staying away from this movie unless uh, you just want to see a bunch of naked women for an hour. Well, because I mean that, rest, that's the that, that's boob, the boob job. That's the only like thing about this movie it's like you just take everything away you strip everything away and then that's all you have to it like everything else is like it's there's just nothing there it's like air well they they do have that's why i gave it a c and also the food thing like i said pizza without the sauce because 
like I said, there were too many holes, and but I I still liked it, you know. But it, I bet it wasn't you did. That, it wasn't that great, but it was yeah. better than that Corona crap. Oh, well, obviously, was, that was a piece of crap. Well, and I never rank it down there. It, it's just that that movie could have been pretty good. I mean, it could have been really good if they just done a few things. And it, I don't think it would have taken that much effort to do yeah. those things. I think it would have been minimal effort. And you know, I am not a, I'm not a movie maker, and I don't. You know, Marco would like to make movies, but I don't care about that stuff. He can do it all he wants. But I just I read a lot though, and I do watch some movies because I have to for the channel. But I would watch a few, you know, every so often. Uh, and what what makes a good movie and what makes a good book is a good story. People like stories, they, and when, when they're missing, they they know it. And maybe sometimes they don't want to admit it, and you, and you have this fanboy BS. But you know they know a good something with a good story and good actors, which in this one that was lacking. There were there act the acting. I like the uh, the leprechaun guy. He was uh, my favorite because I thought he was pretty good as a leprechaun, even though he was wearing red. Um, but I thought that was different, and I like things that are different. Well, he's not the leprechaun. He's far Derrick. So. I know, but still, he was dressed like a leprechaun. The hat and everything he was yeah, wearing he was, was like, leprechaun. He, he looked like he was in a shitty school play. Well, yeah, where they screwed up his makeup. It kind of reminds me of, like, when, you know, in, in high school when the teachers put on a shitty play? You know, the teachers... They did well. They did that at ours, where they had the teachers oh, yeah, I put on that. plays together. They like did. Every this year. would this would be like what if you had a little person teacher and he played in a play a school play a leprechaun play. So, anyways, goodbye everybody. Bye, and don't forget to subscribe and to give this video a like. We would really appreciate it. And leave comments too, because we like to hear what you have to say. Yeah, tell us about underwear.